Hello fellow trainers and welcome back to the channel for another visit to my custom Pokemon region, the Helzari region. Now on our last visit to the region I introduced you to my first regional Pokemon along with another Pokemon uh, named Zeeglebeal, but I introduced you to the first regional variant uh, of the Helzari region, my Deli bird, that is a grass and flying type, and I wanted to continue using some of those, um, using some of those uh, generational gimmicks with this. And I teased you with this image last time that we're going to be visiting Halzari's rivers today, and quite a unique little um, image that I teased you with. And I'll give you this little preamble. Every Pokemon generation has its own gimmick, or it has its own unique spin on something for the most part. You know, Gen 2 had baby Pokemon. Gen 3 had um, evolutionary variants of some way, kind of like a Plusle and a Minim. Cast forms, multiple forms. You know, Volbeat, Illumise, those kinds of things. Uh, you know, Gen 4 had all those final evolutions to Gen 1 uh, Pokemon. The list goes on and on through Mega Evolution and regional variants, Gigantamax. So, I wanted to have my own little custom piece for the Halzari region. Something in-game that could be really fun. And I'm going to introduce you to that concept right now with this Pokemon. Its name is Adder Otter. It is a water and psychic type, and it is a tandem Pokemon if you see in the top right corner. Adder Otter is the first of a kind Pokemon that I like to call tandem Pokemon, in which multiple, I, I, I wish I could say it in a better way than a Star Wars-ish type way of uh, life forms, but it's singular creatures becoming and acting as one. They act as a tandem uh, unit. And I'm going to have a variety of these Pokemon littered throughout the Helzari region, but I really wanted to introduce you to Adder Otter first. Uh, you know, based off of, you know, otters, specifically river, river otters in this case, but otters that don't want to drift away from each other because they adore each other. And as we go to its Pokemon and Pokedex entry, Adder Otter is the adoring couple Pokemon. It is a water and psychic type and it's number 85 in the Halzari Pokedex. The first of what is known as a tandem Pokemon, Adder Otter are inseparable creatures sharing a psychic link. Their actions are consistently synchronized to help their partner. Now, I, it doesn't take a genius to tell you that Otter's holding hands is adorable. <laughs> Uh, it's a fun concept, uh, you know, if you're on the internet for more than, you know, 10 minutes looking at animals, you're going to somehow come across adder, otters holding hands, most likely. Um, that was really the whole entire basis for this Pokemon. But the tandem Pokemon thing is one in which I wanted to play with an idea that what does it mean for Pokemon to live in unison but also live as one life unit? that makes sense and that's something I thought would be really really interesting so I have a lot of Pokemon that uh, are going to mesh together and become one solid unit of a Pokemon um, I don't want to say you know I'm trying very hard not to make it as a fusion Pokemon I don't think that's correct um, but it's two life forms coming together to become one solid unit of a Pokemon. You know, I would look at it kind of a parable of an execute or a phalanx, but very much these are two singular beings acting as one. Um, and Adder Otter is the first of that. Their psychic link is purely through love. I, I wish there was a less cheesy way to say it. Um, but they're just... They're two creatures that don't want to be separated from each other, and they're far happier and far more powerful together than they ever would be apart. And that was the whole basis for Adder Otter, and you know this 
the tandem ideas in general, I thought this would be a really fun way to introduce. Um, you know, I know I have a successful Pokemon when I can get my wife to give me the, what I like to call the cutesy sounds, where she sees something cute and she gets that high-pitched, oh, oh my god, kind of look on her face and the, and the, and those high-pitched, uh, you know, stereotypical sounds come out because something's cute. I know I have a successful Pokemon in my hands when I can come that, I, I can get that to come out of her, and Adorotter did that. So, I knew I had a success in my hands with Adorotter. Uh, but... To continue a little bit, you know, my new tradition is going to be these tandem Pokemon. That's going to be my generational gimmick for the Helzari region. However, I do want to keep to a tradition, and I think it's a fun tradition, of having a Pikachu clone. Every generation has some form of Pikachu clone in it. And I'm going to give you mine right here and right now with this. A Pokemon very near and dear to my heart. Parabeeve. Parabeeve is a water and electric type Pokemon. Uh, Parabeeve is quite the fun, uh, fun dam building Pokemon. And I'll take you straight to its Pokedex entry here. Parabeeve, the dam building Pokemon. It is a water and electric type, as stated before, and it's number 84 in the Helzari Pokedex. While an appealing Pokemon, trainers must be wary of electrical shocks. Parabeeve, Parabeeve can conduct electricity through beating its large, large flat tail. So it has an enormous tail and it will continually flap it and create static electricity to then become far more dynamic um, current of electricity. And the whole inspiration behind Parabeeve was... Um, I'm going to be do doing something very, very unique for gyms. Um, I want to accentuate uh, qualities of nature in my gyms. And I thought it would be a really interesting concept to show that with a Pokemon as well. It's so interesting that beavers will create these dams to make um, dens for themselves. And, you know, dam up rivers and, and they'll change the environment to fit what they need. Kind of like how humans... Uh, you know, when we build dams, it's always to fit our needs. Now, most of the time, when we build a dam, or in the past, uh, you know, couple decades, when a dam is built, it's usually for hydroelectric power. It's to power our cities, to power our electrical grid. And I really wanted to explore that. So I thought it'd be interesting to have a water electric type. And what better for a hydro dam idea than... An animal and now a Pokemon that builds its own dams. It could be very interesting and a very fun concept. And again, I got the cutesy sounds when I made Parabeef um, <laughs> uh, from my wife. So I knew Parabeef would be a fun addition to the Pokedex as well. Uh, and that is a two of the river dwelling and lake dwelling Pokemon of the Halzari region. And I have some more coming your way in the near future. But before we get to that, I want to ask you this question with who's that Pokemon? Well, you know from the introductory video that the Pokemon shown is our water starter, Delphin. However, I'm going to unveil the rest of its evolutionary line. You're going to get the full starter line for water type in next week's video. And I think you guys will probably enjoy it. It's pretty fun and pretty rad. Um, and I'm excited for you guys to see this water line come to fruition uh, for everything. But until we get to that point, I just want to say thank you so much again for visiting the region, having some fun with me, uh, and enjoying the new concept art. I really, really do appreciate it. If you could... Find me wherever you can on social media and every platform you can. It's just Pokemon Trainer Evan. Um, you know, YouTube, Twitch, TikTok, Instagram. I, if I'm there, if it's possible, you could probably find me there at just Pokemon Trainer Evan in some way, shape, or form. And I greatly appreciate it. If you like this video, please give it a like, comment, subscribe, follow it wherever you can. I greatly appreciate it. And get involved. I've got a whole ranking system going of a uh, ranking series of Pokemon. I've got uh, Pokemon card openings that are quite popular. So 
Um, come and check out what I have to offer. I hope you can enjoy the content because it's all Pokemon related. But, again, thank you so much. I do appreciate you guys doing this and, and following the content. It makes it, it means truly a great deal to me. So thank you so much. I'll check you out next time. Peace, love, and hugs. Bye-bye.